Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. Now, with everything going on, the news around the whole world, everyone knows about it. So I actually wanted to come on and talk about the recent events in the news, you know, the big noise that we all know about. I'm not going to say the word in case it is a trigger to anyone out there, which I totally understand it can be. But instead of talking about the actual subject, I wanted to give you a video that you could watch to make you guys feel like you're supported and you can watch this video and maybe get ideas on how you can help yourself if you feel overwhelmed or you don't know what to do in this situation if you're feeling like quite anxious about it if you're actually staying at home and you're keeping yourself and others safe i've also got some really good ideas on how to keep yourself busy not to think about the subject you know the noise that we all hate and how to stay away from the negative side of it and to be quite positive in this situation so with everything going on obviously I have actually stopped to go into London at the minute. I've been in London every single week. It's been a bit manic. I've also been going on a lot of trains, as you guys would have seen. It was probably the worst day to be on a train full of so many people. Um, and I will admit, yesterday I actually wasn't feeling too good. During the time that I'm actually staying at home, I'm actually going to make most of the time I'm here and create content for you guys, batch a load of videos ready for when I am busy, I've got videos. So instead of just sitting here, moping about, being negative, I'm actually going to make most of my time at home and film videos, make sure that I'm planning like weeks in ahead because I also don't get time to do that anymore. So this like, you know, these few weeks where we're at home, I can actually make the most of the time and film videos for weeks in advance. That's what I'm gonna be doing, but I'm also gonna be doing a lot of the things on the list that I've actually put down here. I've actually made a list of all the things you guys can do at home to take your mind off the noise, to help yourself if you're feeling really overwhelmed and anxious about this whole scenario, because like, I can understand how anxious people can get over this. And like, even for me, and I'm not really scared of anything, but even for me, it's quite worrying. I feel like I'm not even lying. I feel like I'm living in an episode of Black Mirror. I feel like it's not real. But I think as well, with watching a lot of the news and things, it can be so negative and a bit too much and very overwhelming. Wow, like that's actually quite damaging. And mentally, it's quite draining and exhausting and it's gonna affect your life. It's gonna affect your sleep. So I've actually got some really good tips on distracting yourself from this so it doesn't necessarily mean just use it because of what's happening at the minute you can also use this if you're having really bad anxiety in general so it's kind of a video to help every situation as well as the one that's going on right now just wanted to quickly say as well this video is not going to be negative at all that is not the whole reason i'm doing this video i want to create this video today to help you guys out so much i do hope you watch this and maybe go away from it feeling a bit better like maybe a little bit like that weight is lifted a little bit maybe you've come away thinking you know you've got some methods it have a chill and i hope hope you guys take something away from it feeling a little bit better i've put some notes on my phone actually about like things that you can do the first one i put is just taking a break from facebook instagram tv news channels stay away from anything that literally says the word like just just don't like keep yourself safe and you know give yourself a tiny bit of dose of it so you're aware of what's going on. Don't be constantly going on Instagram and Facebook looking at these news articles or these posts that people are putting. The reason I've actually not mentioned it on my Instagram is because I don't want to add to the noise, if you get me. There's so many people on Instagram that are posting all about it and even I'm getting sick of it and I'm thinking, there's a certain way you can go about this and you can, it's just like, you only need it in small doses and if it's any more than that, it gets a bit too overwhelming and things. So yeah, definitely take a break from going on certain social media platforms. If you are going on like, you know, Instagram, make sure that you're not following people who post about it all the time or who are just constantly adding to the noise. Twitter is also another platform that I've been on myself and seen so many people tweet about the topic and also so adding to the noise so if you can try and avoid it or if you want to go on social media just limit your time on it instead of being on it all day and just repeating your whole like process of going on twitter instagram facebook like try and stop it and do some other things as well which luckily i've got some ideas spend this time that you guys probably don't ever get because you're either working or you're not normally at home and spend this time that you 
don't normally get and actually use it to look after yourself. Spend time doing things for you. So pampering yourself. Do your nails. Do like a hair mask, hair treatments. I never do hair masks and I never do hair treatments because I never have the time. So things like this that probably would take normally a lot more time than usual. Make the most of it and put on a hair mask, put on a face mask. Really spend time doing things for yourself and making yourself feel nice. Put fake tan on if you really want to. Like make yourself feel great instead of wasting your time looking at the news. You could actually spend that time looking after yourself as a person and after it you'll feel so much better and also a bit nicer as well like mentally, physically. Honestly it is amazing. Doing things like that just makes you feel uplifted and also if you are feeling a little bit like ill it does really help with that as well. It makes you feel a lot more fresher and not as I guess down. Probably quite obvious, but you know, good films, series, books, like I've really got into books at the minute. I don't ever get time to read books, but I've actually started getting into like more self-help books and things like that, but I've actually got one to show you. So this book is what I ordered recently. Now, these are the kind of books that I really like, the ones that are really easy to read, that are not necessarily story books, but they're more like self-help books. And this is The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a F. Now, this is what I really needed because just in general, like with the whole, you know, working on social media, you generally have to have a thick skin. I can get quite hateful comments. I can get people picking at me. And reading this book, I think, is going to really help me to not give an F about people picking at me for my nails because they're overgrown or my lashes or just things like that. Like it says, are you stressed out, overbooked and overwhelmed? underwhelmed with life, fed up with pleasing everyone else before you please yourself, then it's time to stop giving AF. So this is, a, so it says this irrelevant practical book explains how to get rid of unwanted obligations, shame and guilt. I am so excited to start reading this. I've already like flicked through a few pages and they're all just so normal and relatable, like little things in life and it's your mentality and everything that it can actually change. Oh yeah, so there's one called The Anxiety Solution and how it's really good for anxiety or people who are really feeling quite overwhelmed in this situation. So I'll also try and leave that down below. But of course you've got like Netflix, binge watch some incredible series. There are so many series on Netflix, like Sex Education. That is the funniest, funniest series I've ever watched. The End of the Effing World, that's amazing if you like British, uh, it's my type of humour, like dry, dark humour. I just love British like series, so um, it's a new one at the minute, I've watched it. It's bloody brilliant, it's got a few actors from it in as well. I'm not okay with this, that's it, yeah. Funny, just funny humour of teenagers, it's amazing. If you do like a good drama, um, I really love Unbelievable is amazing. I also really like watching like crime documentaries obviously if you're not in that mindset please don't watch it but i'll link some of my favorite like shows in the description again because when i'm talking to you guys my mind just seems to go blank but when i go on my netflix i will leave a list on the screen and i'll leave it in the description of all my favorite shows whether it's like light-hearted ones atypical is amazing if you haven't watched atypical it's the most light hearted series ever and i'm not a person who watched stuff like that but that series is my favorite i love it so atypical and also as well this sounds really weird but i really like watching david attenborough now i never used to watch him never really got the hype but when i was like really struggling to go to sleep and things i used to put him on netflix on my tv and not even kidding that man made me fall asleep like he did something to me i was asleep like i don't I find it really hard to sleep or go to sleep unless I'm like literally drained, but he made me feel so relaxed. You don't even have to have a brain to like watch it. Like you can switch off. You don't need to like concentrate. It's one of them programs that you can have on in the background to make you feel like calm and you could just, you know, spend like two hours just been watching it and making yourself feel really calm. That honestly is like therapy. It's amazing. Another few tips that I've put is make your own like face mask you can do like diy face mask if you haven't got any in so say if you've not bought any you can make your own avocado ones there's some like, really wicked recipes out there if you want to make you know a day out of like making your own face masks if you're starting to get into makeup and you want to do like makeup on instagram or youtube 
YouTube, this is your time where you could actually like focus your mind onto something that you really love, which could be makeup, which could be fashion, it could be, I don't know, anything in the world, whatever you enjoy the most, like focus your time doing that. So if you are staying at home and not seeing like your friends and family as much, that is FaceTime, so you can FaceTime them. And you could even do things over FaceTime, like, I don't know, a fun game. You could watch Netflix together. I've done that before. If you are at home, don't feel like you're isolated and feel trapped. There are so many people out there, like online chat forums, groups, and FaceTime. TikTok is a great way to feel like you're having fun. I think TikTok is such an incredible platform to making people feel like they're having a good day. I don't know, that, that platform is incredible. And and you go on there and there's so many different people doing different things like the world of TikTok is crazy and I think it's also an amazing platform to get on if you are feeling a bit negative and down get on it because you'll be surprised at how fun the platform is and how amazing it is I've just started it recently and I really enjoy going on TikTok more than I do Instagram because I find Instagram can be quite negative so make TikToks like even if you want to private it it's such a fun way to like get into involved and even if you wanted to start maybe going into like a platform tiktok's a great way of like maybe starting social media if you wanted to do like your own videos you don't even have to have your face in it there's so many ways of doing fun videos like you could for example if you wanted to do like a beauty account you could do your favorite makeup products and do it to music so like film it on your bed to music there's so many fun ways to make videos as well so but yeah, TikTok is a great way. Another one that I've actually put down as well is colouring books, like adult mindfulness colouring books. I actually used to have quite a few of these when I was going through a really hard time at college. I bought quite a few of them and when I went into college and had a really, really bad day, I used to bring in my little colouring book and I used to colour in like the really intricate like details of drawings and everything. Colouring is such an amazing thing, like it's so underestimated. I think the one that I've got is like 3 dollars and it's amazing. Also scrapbooking, it's a perfect time to print off like little photos if you've got a Polaroid printer. Print out Polaroids and put them in a scrapbook. Look back on old photos you've taken with your friends and family. It's just a nice way to like bring a bit of positivity your way. Also not forgetting about podcasts, there are so many different podcasts for different kind of people. There's like crime podcasts, funny podcasts, real life podcasts, comedy, everything. So if you're into like getting things done but also having something on in the background or you're more bothered about listening to something instead of watching it, podcasts are a great way. Calm apps as well, there are so many different apps on your phone that you can get that are calming. There's even like colouring apps on your phone as well. So get meditation apps on your phone, definitely go on the app store and have a look. I'll try and like Google some as well. But yeah, don't forget about your apps on your phone. Make use of your phone instead of ditching it. Make Make use of it don't forget to bake find some really different recipes things that don't need a lot of ingredients find some really cute like cookbooks make some things make some dinners make some cookies i don't know just bake baking is such a fun and nice way and at the end of it you get obviously your food which i mean hello food is amazing of course please don't forget to go outside walk your dog or if you don't have a dog just go out for a little walk clear your headspace it's also really nice to go outside to feel like you've got a bit of fresh air as well maybe like just for like 10 minute little walk it's just will make you feel a lot better than you did being stuck in. I'm gonna lie, I think that is everything on my list that I've put down. If you have any other recommendations for everyone else, please put it in the comments below. I feel like we all need to help each other out in this situation. Instead of, you know, being crazy and just fending for ourselves, we actually need to help each other and stick together. And it's the perfect time to do that. So please don't forget that, you know, you're not alone. This is not gonna last forever. I promise you, this is just, you know, a thing that's going around at the minute, we're all going to be okay at the end of it. Of course, it is very important to stay safe, wash your hands, avoid crowded places, avoid trying not to go on, you know, crowded public transport and things like that. So just the simple things that you need to like try and stay away from. And I promise you, everything will be fine. It's not going to last forever. What I'll do is if you are feeling 
you know, really, really anxious or you do need someone to speak to if you feel, you know, very trapped or overwhelmed and you do think you actually need someone to talk to, I will leave in the description below of some help services that, you know, you can go to if you do need that help. If you do have a mental health illness, please don't think that you're not important and you shouldn't reach out. It's also just as important for you to get help as well as, you know, with everything going on. Please don't stay silent and beat yourself up about situations that you're also battling. Just make sure you speak to someone. Stay safe. Everyone needs to stay safe. Even people who haven't got it, you just need to keep yourself safe mentally and physically and we'll all be fine, I promise you. But yeah, that is the end of today's video. I really do hope you took away something from this. I hope it did help in some kind of way. But I'll also be leaving the link, which will be in every one of my videos now, of the NDA Awards because, as you guys know, I've been nominated for a Positive Role Model NDA Award and it'd be incredible and it really would mean the world if you guys did want to vote for me. So I'll pop up on the screen the little card, I'll put it in the description, check everything out in there. And yeah, I forgot to say, but I just wanted to quickly mention that I'm going to be also organising, trying my best, like a few care packages of adding some nail bits, some like bath body products, some face masks, maybe like hair products. I'll definitely have a look and see what I've got um, because you guys know I do get sent a lot of products and if anything, I just want to give back to you guys. Let me know what you think. I'll have more information over on my Instagram stories so I'll definitely try my best and sort something for you guys. But yeah, just wanted to pop in and say that. I love you guys so much. Stay safe. I love you guys. I'm always here to chat. Um, and yeah, I will see you in my next video.